We have a loaded week of content this week in MLB The Show, including on Friday, the Extreme program comes out. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. I'm super excited for that as well. Um, and this video is going to be all about the Extreme program, just talking about um, what to expect and possibly some uh, players that we might see in the program. So it's going to be a shorter video, but figured I would jump into this um, and just give everyone a refresher, basically, of the Extreme program and what to expect. And one more thing I wanted to say before we get into the video, I will be dropping a guide to finishing this extreme program right when it comes out on Friday. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. So most of you probably know what the extreme program is, but for those of you who don't, basically just think about it like your average program in the game might be on like rookie or veteran difficulty if we're thinking about it this way. Um, and the extreme program is on legend difficulty. It is really, really tough to complete. And I'm telling you that... Not all of you guys watching this video are going to complete it, most likely, um, if it's like it was in the past, because um, it's very difficult to fully complete. And it's all probably easier to explain if we take a look at last year's Extreme program right here, um, which if you guys remember, um, we had the Carry Wood right here. We had, I think, four cards. So we got this Carry Wood right here, um, which more on him in just a second. We got the Eroldis Chapman at 60 stars there, and then we got the Robinson Cano, and then the final reward was the Josh Donaldson. Um, so... Lots of 99s, lots of really good 99s, matter of fact, and I would expect the same with this year's as well. We should get some loaded rewards, more on that in just a second, but here's a moment. So on all-star difficulty, um, this is one of them. You had eight games, basically player locked as Griffey to hit eight home runs. So that's just an example of one. Uh, here's a Kerry Wood one where in one game you needed 20 strikeouts without giving up a couple runs. This one on veteran difficulty, not as bad. Um... This one, you're down 7-1 and entering the ninth inning, and you have to win the game on all-star difficulty. So you kind of get a feel for what these moments are. Super difficult, and um, I actually think the moments in this, in 22, were probably a little bit easier, actually, than the last extreme moments before that, which I think was MLB 20, because I think in MLB 20, um, all the moments were basically Hall of Famer legend. We got off easy last year with a lot of all-star moments, um, a couple veteran, um, and then taking a look at some of the missions right here, we had this repeatable 25,000 PXP one, and then we had a missions to P5 carry wood, which is exactly what I did because I did this so I could get the stars because I didn't want to do the showdown because I tried this showdown, I remember probably eight or nine times, and I just kept failing. And I'm actually, I've gotten pretty good at showdowns. I feel like I'm not terrible at showdowns, but this one was so tough. Um, I just had to skip over it. And then the Conquest, which you might think of Conquest being easy. Um, this one wasn't awful, but it was difficult. So capture, you know, a one enemy stronghold on the first turn, two on the second turn, uh, steal three million fans before the third turn, capture three before honor before the third turn, four honor before the fourth turn. So you kind of get it. It's... It's a tough conquest map. Like you think, you know, all your all the other conquest maps really are pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, but this one is definitely um, a lot more difficult. And um, you might also not be playing all the games just on like veteran difficulty. You might have to play some on all star or whatever it might be. So um, yeah, I mean, this is what the extreme program was last year, and I think we can expect a lot of the same stuff. Not the same, but similar things. So I do think we'll see our typical, you know, moments, missions, conquest, and showdown. Obviously, all of those will be different from last year, so it's hard to know uh, what those will be specifically. But um, I do think it'll be similar in terms of difficulty to last year, because last year, it was really tough, but it wasn't, I don't think, impossible. It was just such a grind um, that, you know, it was really challenging. So I think it'll keep it around the same difficulty. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rewards are for this year's program. The only one we know confirmed up to this point, um, you guys will probably know more that are confirmed when you watch this video, but up to the recording of this video, all we know is Mike Piazza, um, and it is a set three card, which is a little uh, disappointing, in my opinion at least, and I know a lot of other people in the community agree. It would be nice for at least like the final reward to be a core card, just because it is going to be such a grind to finish this program that, um, you know, it'd be a bummer just to 
not be able to use these cards again in like a month and a half. So really hoping that the final reward or whatever it might be, if there's a collection, I'm probably not a collection, but that final reward or two, if those are core cards, I would be really happy about that. Uh, but then if we think about like what other cards might we, might we get from this program, obviously we're going to get a lot of 99s um, and I think they're going to be stick with the theme of all-star um, as you see this Piazza card is all-star themed as well um, that's just a lot of set three cards in general or have that all-star theme so I'm sure we'll stick with the all-star theme for all of the program cards um, and but who do we who do we think might get those cards and I do think it'll be a mix of like current and past players um, as you see this one would be a past player and Mike Piazza but I think we will get also current day players and a couple of guys who caught my eye who have not gotten 99s up to this point are George Brett and Jacob deGrom I think at least one of them I could definitely see getting one maybe not probably not both right but one of them could get one for sure I know some people have floated out the idea of Trout because he hasn't gotten a 99 since set one I guess that's possible um for sure we'll see but and the same I think with Griffey right so Griffey Got that 97 set two card, but 99 um, set one card was his last 99. But I think Griffey is a little more unlikely just because I think they will put him in like a chase pack or um, a ranked season program or something like that rather than um, in this program. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, let me know if, what guesses you guys have for possible uh, cards we could see in this upcoming program. But otherwise, that's pretty much all what I wanted to cover in today's video. Let me know your guys' thoughts about everything, what cards you want, whether you're going to complete this program or not. And also keep an eye out for that video I'll drop Friday or Saturday, hopefully Friday. Um, just a guide going over how to complete the Extreme program quickly and the, just the easiest way to do it. So hope you guys did enjoy the video and are looking forward to that video as well. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for sticking around to the end. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.